Hello our dear viewers and welcome to our show. Today we're going to be talking to you about very common and traditional dishes here in Kuwait and those are haris and yirish. Now a lot of us make haris and yirish in our household or maybe we buy it from our local supermarket and we're not really sure what it is. So today I'll be talking to you about the health benefits of haris and yirish and what you can do to actually improve the health benefits and lower the calories in these meals to actually have them more frequently. They are actually excellent meals that you should be having frequently because essentially what haris and yirish is actually made of is cracked wheat. Now the difference between the two is the size of the cracked wheat and then the toasting process and the roasting process. But they're essentially whole grains that are excellent sources of fiber, excellent sources of iron and really excellent sources of a lot of minerals that we take for granted. It's a lot of times that we have these national dishes that we don't really think much of and then we turn to other grains like quinoa and maybe burgol and maybe frika but essentially these grains like cracked wheat have the same amount of benefits as these other grains and could actually be better for us because they are local dishes that we've got in our body and our system used to. Now of course the cooking methodology is very important and this is something we'll cover but before we go into the cooking methodolo methodology let's look at the nutrition facts behind these grains. So like I said they're both considered whole grains, they're really types of cracked wheat and now the difference is the way it's roasted or the way it's processed and then the size of the grain itself. So that means they both contain really high amounts of iron. So these are excellent sources of food for anybody that does have some form of anemia. Anemia, Especially because they are cooked with a meat. 
So both the haris and the yirish are usually cooked with either a stock or they do include some meat in them. So these are excellent ways to incorporate um, into a diet for anybody that suffers from iron deficiency anemia or just is very prone to low iron levels. It does contain a great deal of iron because of its whole grain, because it's really not broken down as much as the white or the processed grains. Another thing that Haris and Yirish really have is a lot of fiber. You'll probably notice that once you have these meals, you're usually full for a long time, and that's because of a fiber content. So approximately one quarter cup of uncooked um, haris or yiris will have about five grams of fiber, which is quite a significant amount. I mean, it does compare to a lot of the cereals we find in the market. Please stay tuned, we have other tips to cover for you, as well as helping you pay attention to the way you cook your food. Welcome back our dear viewers. So let's take a look at other health benefits or other nutrients that are found in both the haris and the yirish. So one of them is protein. We really tend to forget that whole grains do contain a considerable amount of protein. And because these both are considered whole grains, they do contain a lot of protein. Again, when they are cooked, they are cooked with meat, which really increases the amount of protein they have, and it probably increases the amount of protein that's absorbed in your body. Which brings me to the way they are cooked. Now, a lot of times we turn to the supermarket to buy them because that is the easiest way, and it is a lengthy process to make them at home. But you do need to keep in mind that sometimes the way that they're cooked could hinder their caloric value. So not the amount of protein or the amount of fiber it has, but mainly the amount of calories it has, only because of the fat that could be added to the cooking process. So a lot of times when we are making these things um, and we're taking the recipe as is or we're buying them ready-made, a lot of people use forms of fat from the meat or the chicken to flavor the product. And it is an excellent way of flavoring the product, but it will increase the amount of calories in it. Therefore, it's very important if you are making it at home or you're able to make it at home, to actually try to lessen the amounts of fat found in the meat. Maybe use chicken every now and then as a substitute for meat. I know a lot of people are starting to do that and they're realizing the flavor isn't really disrupted that much. And what you can do if you are someone that favors meat in your haris or especially in your hirish is that you do a bone broth stock. So because these grains are cooked in a stock, what you can do is make a stock out of the bones and try to eliminate as much of the fat as possible. This way you'll still be getting that meaty flavor, but without as much fat as you would be getting if you cooked the meat with the fat and with the bones. This is one key way to actually have this meal and not really worry about the caloric value of it. But with, you know, haris, the really important thing to focus on is maybe not the fat as much as the sugar content. Now, a lot of times, traditionally, what we like to do is sprinkle a lot of cinnamon and sugar on top of the haris. One good way is to start reducing the amount of sugar in that mixture and seeing really if it makes a difference. Increase the cinnamon in that mixture. Hopefully, that will give you the sweetened taste without really much of the calories and the cinnamon does have a lot of health benefits for you. These are some tips to help you counter the calorie. We have other tips for you, so please stay tuned. Welcome back, our dear viewers. So now that we've talked about the nutritional facts and then other ways that we can cook haris and yirish, let's take a look at some health benefits that maybe not haris and yirish in particular has shown um, in recent studies, but the idea of cracked or whole grains like whole wheat have shown you know, to help in the health field. 
So a lot of research has been conducted in consuming whole grains and a lot of research has shown that women that consume whole grains actually lessen their chances of developing things like breast cancer. So this is really very important because in our Kuwaiti traditional diet we don't really have many sources of whole grains. We do rely a lot on rice but as in terms of whole grains Haris and Yirish may be one of the few foods that we do consume that do contain that whole grain value in them. So it is really important to consider consuming them frequently or at least two to three times a week. But like I said, do consider the amount of fat or the cooking process. There are a lot of times that we use healthy foods, but then we cook them differently, which diminishes from the health benefits of these foods. In terms of people that have a lot of issues with their colon, because of the fiber content in this cracked wheat, it's really an excellent source um, of fiber. It will rest your colon. It will actually help um, with your colon health. An excellent way to actually make yourself feel better without really deviating or without really taking foods that feel like medicines. Now, it's really important that you not only focus on haris and yirish, as they're cooked foods as is, you can actually start deviating. Because it's a grain, you can start using it as a breadcrumb. If you do um, do a lot of breaded foods in your house, you could actually perhaps add it um, or toss it with your baked goods. So if you do grind it even more finely than it is, then you can start using it in a lot of your baking products this way you will up the fiber content and you will be taking something local that you don't really need to worry about. Another great thing about Haris and Yirish is because it considers or it contains a lot of amounts of fiber in it, it's really an excellent source of whole grains for diabetics. So diabetics can consume it. Of course, they need to be aware that it still does contain carbohydrates, but you're looking at about 30 grams of carbohydrates per cup that is cooked, which is really not much and it is something that will keep you full. So one cup can actually give you that filling feeling because you are getting about maybe 10 grams of fiber from it, which is an excellent amount of fiber from any cooked grain. So we really hope you enjoyed today's episode and we'll see you all next time.